correct me if I'm wrong, um, but Jewel is DA as well, right? I know that Wes told me he picked him up. Huh? 3D now? 3D. Okay. T team 3D. He was DA for like four days. Okay. Yeah. So Jewel I, saying I saw get something the tables, different. man. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, right? But we're going to jump right into this, man. What do you think about this match of Palutena versus Lucina? Talk me through it. I mean, Palutena is uh, one of those characters that you see so many high uh, top players using. And for very good reason, I do think that it's a character with a ceiling. But it's uh, it's one of those things that people are learning to play around this character just because of the prominence of it, just because of the effectiveness of it, the, it, uh, the fact that you can play defensively and still move forward. This is a very defensively-minded game, Smash Brothers, and it always will be. It's just the nature of, I think, many platform brawlers, to be completely honest with you. But Mr. E playing Lucina, one of the most well-rounded characters in the game, I think that's shown with the consistency that you see Lucina's in top eight, whether it be on the local or national level, Mr. E, certainly no exception, drawing first blood in this best of three. And uh, Mr. E has won so many tournaments around the area as Jen, who actually just won a PGRC level event, the Scarlet Classic, just uh, a few days ago with uh, with that Palutena. Yeah, no, I... it's, uh, there, there are obviously so many things. There are so many intricacies to this matchup, and I don't think they've all been explored yet. But it's basically going to be... Mr. E throwing out those uh, those safe advancing hitboxes. You're, you're basically playing Marth, but without the tipper. That's what it is, and that's what it'll always be. Versus Palutena, who will try to keep you at distance and uh, make you pay for your transgressive approaches. You know, and that's why that's why E prefers Lucina in cases like this, because sometimes Marth can struggle to kill when he's not getting those tippers. And, you'll, and one thing about Mr. E that I want to point out is that every time you see him, he is a much better player. This guy does not stop grinding and just, you know, Jen the same way. Every time I see him, I'm like, my God, this kid does not just, he, they, doesn't, they don't stop getting better. And look at that. The match started completely in Mr. E's, uh, Mr. E's favor. And already, oh my, I was going to say it was tied, but <laughs> hitting him with the forward smash. And Lucina's forward smash is something that smacks the living crap out of you. Yee! There you go. Back throw and just, uh. Could not deal with it, and yeah, Palutena is back though. Very underrated option. Obviously, uh, I, I don't know if you. It's would, so good. It's yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it, it's so amazing. You find so many people, and in fact, uh, Great Gonzalez in New Jersey finds himself doing this quite a bit. Oh, beautiful edge guarding. Yeah, Lucina. Lucina edge guarding. Take a wow, shot. Wow, the two oh frame. Oh my! Catching the two frame with the sword, and just like that, Mr. E hacking and slashing that last stock. Off of uh, off of Jen, who uh, finds himself in a precarious position, obviously because you're dealing with. I don't know how this translates on paper necessarily. There's so much conversation and like, yeah, oh, yeah, this, this character sure. wins 60-40 or like 70-30. Uh, <laughs> <70 30. laughs> you, there are so many ways to play these characters that you kind of have to look at the the players themselves. Obviously, Mr. E, someone who is very. Uh, he was very good with adaptation. He does his homework. He puts in the time, and he shows so much passion. Watch the kid, watch the player cam for Mr. E. How much he moves his head and he gets into it. He, he is moving yeah. with Lucina. I swear to you. As we go to Yoshi's story for game number two, but uh, but Jen, he plays a very unorthodox Palutena. You could say a very aggressive one, and we do see uh, that similar sort of gameplay with uh, with Nairo as well. And one might be tempted to think that oh, he borrowed this from Nairo. No, he. He was kind of on this. Uh, he was kind of on this train from day one. If anything, Nairo perhaps borrowing the uh, the aggressive tact of Palutena from him. You could say. Who knows? We never. Who, yeah, definitely. And like you said, Jen, very very aggressive Palutena. That's why. That's why I love casting his matches. And Mr. E, super. <laughs> he's definitely one of the more aggressive Lucinas as well. So this is like you know how, you know the whole the saying unstoppable force. He's an yeah. evil object. Oh, oh the my. homie stock. The homie stock. Good respect, stuff. respect, respect. I, I definitely respect that. And yeah, we're playing. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to Smash Four, everyone. Yeah, man, playing with two stock game. <laughs> you know how you, you know how the saying, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Well, this is an unstoppable force meets an unstoppable force as they both just go toe to toe in this. Exactly, like two bulls in the barnyard. Only uh, they're going to lock horns, and one of them is going to break upon the other. Which one will it be? Jen was well, looking for the reverse 2-0, and I would say. Uh, Really, Mr. E has a uh, oh looking for the edge guard and is very good at getting a gen. Perhaps just a little too linear with his recoveries, and Mr. E uh, realizing that. However, 
go back on the ledge. Jen having a devil of a time trying to get back to the neutral state. Yeah, man, this is when Mr. E drives up so much of his damage. As you saw last match, literally for the for the last 10 seconds of the match, Jen was like on the left side of the screen and Mr. E did not let him come back. As he oh. smacks him with the beautiful backer, 67%. This is huge for Mr. E. He is definitely sitting pretty right now. 92 is definitely not kill percent just yet. Wow, beautiful up, falling up air to, to back air. Oh my god. Oh my! Yeah, forget your beautiful back airs. Here's the wings of my F smash, says <laughs> Jen, and looking to fly into game number three here. He's one stock away from doing so, Wolf. Yeah, man, Peloton is like, hold on, I'm gonna show you the real wings of rebellion. You, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy smokes. All right, now the stage neutral. control is the most important thing yeah. right now as both competitors fight for it. And Jen just not able to be as aggressive as he would like, not able to establish himself in neutral. It seems like it really is almost like uh, it, it's like watching Smash 64 where you just get put into disadvantage and you're dead. Mr. E <laughs> is doing so good at keeping him in the disadvantageous state and Jen I mean, he's getting his licks where he can, wow. but it's Mr. E who will take it two to nil against the House of 3000's Jen. So coming into the house, kicking his feet up on the couch, saying, yo, couch, my boy. Going all Rick James on him here. He Mr. Really, e is. He really, he really took his couch, bro. Mm -hmm. He really did.